You're listening to The Sizzle on Iron Skillet Radio and Iron Skillet Television. You know who it is. You know what it is. It's The Sizzle in the building. Happy anniversary to you, Jay. Happy three years. How are you feeling today, bro? Man, I feel great. It's been great, man, doing this with you. I couldn't think of a better person to be out here sticking with it, having at it. Y'all know we're going we're going to be here with the greatest show nobody's watching, but, <laughs> but we're here though. And uh, we're having a good time. You know what's really crazy about this Greg? So many people who listen to the show. We got people out there who watch and, and they go, "Man, we really enjoy you guys. You guys should be bigger than what you are." And we just say, "Hey, it's just a matter of time." We've got over 200 episodes out here. We've been putting out every week. We've been dropping out, going into our third year, having a good time, man. And, and, and I tell you, this has brought so many other opportunities for us. So it's just fantastic. Hope you all are coming along with the ride. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Do all that type of stuff. And uh, we'll just keep pumping out this good content for you. Right. So I don't need to mention, though, we want you to hit the subscribe button, the like all button, make sure that you thumbs up this video when you see it and make sure that you are sharing this information, but big ups to my podcasters. Absolutely. Make sure everybody on iron skillet radio is loving it and living a dream. When they hear this baby, that's what we're doing right now. This, you know what, Jay, I think we're going to call it this year, living the dream. Shout out to my man. You know who you are. We are living the dream. This is going to be the hottest year yet because it's sizzling. It's fire and it's real. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's and, real. And the, biggest, and the biggest thing about this, and the biggest thing about this is that we're here for you guys. Um, you know, you can, sometimes guys start these shows, they don't pop off right away and they stop doing them. Mm -hmm. We just enjoy doing this. We enjoy talking to you guys and we enjoy being out here with you. And so we're just like, hey, man, we're going to be here regardless. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And we got and it's always funny. If you're listening to us, it's always funny. Uh, and uh, oh, this nonsense right here we're going to talk about today. Well, that's because we're real. Mm. Uh, unlike somebody mm. else I know. <laughs> unlike a certain academy uh -oh. that's out here trying to do some things out of an apartment building. Okay, a townhouse, <sighs> a duplex. I don't care what you call it. It was incredible. The grass was cut. That wasn't even that wasn't even where they live at. <laughs> so for this all of bro you who is don't the, know, this, this is so crazy. All right, so there was a humongous ESPN game, which was televised with the leading repertoire and repository of NFL prospects in the country at IMG oh, Academy. Absolutely, absolutely, and they went up against. Bishop Sycamore. Yes, he's the cousin of Sycamore Sam of Indiana State. He is the one who's leading the charge of underdeveloped, underplaying young men who at the end of the day, they didn't even know was a real school. So Now, here's the thing that's incredible about this to me, right? The IMG Academy out of Bradenton, Florida, is the greatest football factory we have seen. And I am including Massillon, Ohio. I am including any of these other programs, De La Salle out of, out of California. Any of these programs cannot compare combined with IMG Academy. This is the place. I, how long is the wait line to get in? You must be top player of your state in forever to get in to the IMG Academy. These kids work out year round with pros with people who played in the league these are the most well coached well fed well disciplined well physically built football players in high school in the country and this school sycamore bishop, bishop sycamore i'm sick of there's some more of these people out here playing played the img academy just recently but they had also played the IMG Academy last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, can I we start that. with the fact that Bishop Moore, Bishop Sycamore, because I don't know if you Bishop. run it together, right? Bishop Moore, I don't know where they... Bishop Moore would be mad right now. So this is an online charter school, right? The children are 10. But here's one of the problems. It's not listed 
in the Ohio High School Athletic Association. And it um, is not on the OSHA board. It Nobody knows if it really exists, Jay. It's, it, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, I've heard of, of shenanigans, but this is on a whole new level of shenanigans. This is a online charter school that is playing one of the best programs in the nation. And the funny part about this, that they said, hey, we told our kids not to get online. So if you look up for any of our kids' names and they're not on any of the uh, the the ESPN Top 100, ESPN Top 300, recruits, blue chips, if they're not on any of that stuff, don't worry about it because we told them not to get on social media, even though our school is online. <laughs> I, I don't even get it, Jay, because – even though there are other schools, there's a school in Texas, there's a school in Mississippi, they're independent online schools. This school has, as you said, no records of anything. Like, I don't know if they exist. Are we even sure these were high schoolers playing? Yeah, there it is. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you looked at, so I, I watched one video because I'm going to do a reaction to it. I still may, I may not. Mm -hmm. But I watched about two minutes of a video and uh i want to say some of those gentlemen that are playing for bishop sycamore i think have children in grammar school i mean it looks like some of these guys were in their 30s all right i mean you know it looked it looked like one of those teams that guys pay to play on and they just ran them out there and they were picking up people out of the neighborhood to come play hey, but you're playing before i played some jv ball because come on out we're gonna go play this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in high school. Mm -hmm. this, 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 this shouldn't happen in the 1960s, all right? How electronically, with everything that we have, able to Google right at your fingertips from your phone, you could have found out instantly that this whole situation with this team, that they are a farce of epic proportions. But you people at ESPN, and I'm blaming ESPN on this. I'm not blaming the Boston Sycamore Trees Red Oaks. I'm not blaming them. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a dream, all right? Remember that, remember that movie, Catch Me If You Can? Mm -hmm. The guy who was running around in the 70s trying to get on the, get on the plane. He just, he just figured out how to get an airline pilot thing. And uh, he was like 17 years old. And after a while, he was in there being a doctor. All it, look, if you're not doing your due diligence to make sure when people say who they are, you're not fact-checking it, this is ESPN's fault. Nobody's fault but ESPN. These guys had a dream, mm -hmm. and they fulfilled their dream. They went out and played the IMG Academy and played on national television. That's what they wanted to do. Now, <laughs> are they going to get in trouble? Absolutely. Is somebody going to jail? They should. But this is entirely ESPN's fault. You know, what's sad is about August 21st, when you looked online, there was a GoFundMe page for the school, which yeah. they were trying to raise $20,000. And they have a top ranked schedule. They have a schedule to play powerhouse teams throughout the country. They're playing DeMatha and, 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 and St. Thomas. They're going around, and the sad part is you get thrown by the bishop because the minute you see bishop, you think Catholic school. They have something yeah. to do with the Catholic League. They're independent. They're this, they're right. that. Um, from my reading, the last I saw, they were, um, last season, they were 0-6. Yeah. And they were outscored 227-42. to 42. No, I hear, and I'm going to tell you what I think really happened here, Greg. Okay. Is that these schools like the IMG Academy, the Master, all these teams, these nationally ranked programs all around the country, they have a really hard time getting people to play them. Mm -hmm. Really hard time because most of these teams are not in a conference. Right. IMG Academy is not in a conference. They just fill out their schedule. They fly around the country and they play whoever. So they're really, they're really a traveling 
football team, mm -hmm. much like your your basketball team, your AAU team that play, you know, for the night programs and stuff like that. They just fly around the country and go play whoever. So when they have a team who wants to, to wants to play them twice, they're like, sure, we'll play. You know, it, it's no big deal. The, the money's there for us. It's no big deal. You guys want to come out and play? And we played you guys before. Right. right. So there was no big deal, right? The question is on this, how does ESPN allow a team who first has an 0-6 record from last year who's been getting blown out. Nobody went on Max Preps. Nobody went, nobody went in Google. Nobody called the Ohio State Athletic Commission. Nobody fact-checked these coaches. Nobody said, hey, uh, this school, they, they, they want to come play. Uh, are they a legit school? We don't see anything about them. No, no. ESPN doesn't go visit the school? Look, man. You, you they, don't go talk to the principal? They <laughs> even have, their quarterback is questionable. Jalen Knight. Okay. So on yeah. his Twitter account, it says that he's a three-star prospect, right? And coming out in the yeah. class of 2023. However, okay. okay. So however, his huddle page says that he plays for Perry Hall High School in Baltimore. All right. He's also on 247's recruiting profile. And they have him as a un recruited quarterback who graduated in 2021. <laughs> so they got guys playing for them who've already graduated high school. <sighs> Meanwhile, their other quarterback, Trillian Hayes, Harris. Trillian. Uh, Trillian. How, how can you get the first name right and the last name wrong? I don't know how I did it, but it's as ridiculous as the story. On his huddle page, he's listed as a senior quarterback, okay? However, Harris and his 247 profile list him as a California quarterback in 2021 who was not recruited. Dreams. Dream, I have a dream. Look. If you speak it into existence, all right, let me break it down for you. If you speak it to this, I know my play says that I wasn't recruited. I know that I'm a zero star athlete, but if I speak it into existence, it's going to be so. And you know what? I played on national TV. What have you done with your life? You see my face. I, I just... <laughs> I don't even know how dangerous this could be. Okay? Absolutely. I'm not sure how dangerous for these young men, for these athletes on both sides, how dangerous of a game this could have been. And let's say one of the top recruits from IMG gets seriously Absolutely. injured playing Absolutely. against a, a grown man. Absolutely. Then what? But let, me, let me break something down to all of you all out there. Right quick, all you guys who believe that you could have played at top flight programs, that you could have played at Division One level and all this type of stuff, let me explain something to you guys, all right? When you are a Division One college football player, you are an elite athlete. Right. Now, you had a bunch of 16, 17, and 18-year-old men coming out of IMG mm -hmm. Academy. And we'll call them young men because they're not exactly men yet. They haven't graduated high school. Matter of fact, they're pretty much just starting their senior year. All right? So there's a bunch of 17 to 18 years old. And they were playing against guys. A lot of them were three and four years their senior. And this was such a lopsided athletic game mm -hmm. that I heard the announcers were in fear for the Bishop Sycamore players. Right. That it was very possible that if IMG really wanted to unload on these guys, they could have hundred ball these guys if they wanted to. They could have been out there put because I'm gonna tell you what, after this team, after four or five plays, this team was toast. I watched about two minutes of it. The sycamores were toast. And IMG could have ran up the score if they wanted to. And the other side of this is that well, the point I was getting ready to make, 
before I just got sidelined by this ridiculousness mm -hmm. was that these guys who play at the division one level, these are elite athletes, mm -hmm. even at 17, 18 and 19 years old. And Bishop Sycamore is very lucky that they didn't have people carted off the field. They are very lucky that that happened because they were playing against one of the most elite programs out there. And I believe the IMG Academy realized what was going on and they really didn't sick the dogs on them. You know, they, they really, they weren't blitzing them. They really didn't sick the dogs on them. But here's the other side of this, Greg. Here's the other side of this right now, right? What do we do with these coaches and administrators from the Bishop Sycamore program? Mm -hmm. Cause I won't even, I, I, can they even call it a program? This was a sham. Mm -hmm. A scheme. This was, I don't, what is it? Not even a Ponzi scheme. What is this? A bait and switch. This was, and from what I understand, the head coach has a warrant out for his arrest right now <laughs> as he was coaching in that game. There was a warrant out for his arrest. What kind of, come on. ESPN. Greg, this has to be the greatest 30 for 30 that ESPN ever produces. <laughs> they got to start it. You got to start this. There is no way ESPN cannot do a 30 for 30 on themselves. There's no way. And it needs to come out in about two weeks. <laughs> I just want to no, know, you have to end this season because you got to see how this goes. If the coach is arrested, if the players actually are paying child support, if how these kids got there was because they knew a rapper and he flew them all in on a private uh, jet blue plane, I've got to know how this whole thing plays out. How did, yeah, I want to know how did they get to, did they, did they all jump in by five or six guys? Because there was only like 25 of these guys. <laughs> there wasn't like, was like 80 people out here playing. There's about 25 of them. Yeah. Did y'all jump in three cars and drive up here? To your point, it's a traveling football team. And I could have respected more if you said we're just a traveling AAU team. You know, this is, we've all seen programs that were bad. And we've seen ringers. You've seen, especially in junior high athletics, you've seen guys who slid those high schoolers on that squad You've seen guys who are out of area that are on teams. You've seen older guys, but you have never seen we, a made-up school. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, I mean, who, who? first thing, who allows this team in Ohio? See, this needs to run straight up the hill, right? There should be some people fired in the Ohio Athletic association for high schools there should be some people fired up there because you guys are letting this team go out and play football games in the state of ohio you are allowing that you are sending you are sanctioning referees to go there you are giving them opportunity to rent spaces if that's what they're doing to play other high school teams you did not vet them at all people should be fired over this there should be a lot of head roll over this really there should I mean, we know that the coach from Bishop Sycamore, and here's the funny part about it, the people who really were perpetrating this scam, it's probably not anything going to happen to them. They're probably just going to get barred out of Ohio athletics, something like that. But for the most part, that's about it. That's about all that's going to happen. But these other people need to lose their jobs. There, there, there should be a job loss over this, especially those who put the stamp of approval on this. Because you know what that tells me? You guys allowed this to slip through the cracks. Nobody, nobody physically went to go check to see if the school existed. You know, I don't. Nobody even, went to a practice. I don't even know what more to say about it. I really. It's so you know, it's, it's asinine just, it's just, and ridiculous. I mean, I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a lot of asinine things, but this, my friend, this is the first. This is the first time I've ever. I don't even know what to say. Look, and it's rare that I'm speechless, yeah. but this is it. Uh, let me let me get this one point in and we're gonna let this go because it's a bullet. 
there was a marketing research group that puts these games together mm -hmm. for ESPN. They, 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 they don't do it in-house. They do it out of house, right? Mm -hmm. One of the people who scheduled this game, his name was Rashid Ghazi, mm -hmm. all right? Now, how immersed was Rashid in high school football in the United States? Or did we just see two names on a piece of paper or on a form? And one said, we have D1 athletes. He said, oh, that looks good to me. You just threw them together. How much were you paid to make that decision there, Rashid? How much did they pay you? Because you shouldn't be able to do anything else either. Rashid, you suck. You suck, Rashid. You're a terrible I mean, person. You're you're horrible. Yeah, it's just it's just bad on so many levels, especially on not the Boston Sycamore, the Sycamore Chickamores, or whoever they are, because they were just a bunch of people who are bad people all around. They're using these kids as a way to try to generate funds for themselves one way, shape, or another. They're going to come around and say, hey, we're really trying to do something for the kids. No, if you were really trying to do something for the kids, you would never sit them out here against the IMG Academy because you could have got your kids hurt. And one of the guys there said, well, my son plays for this team. I feel sorry for your son then because that's a bad example to set <laughs> that you did that. That's a bad example. But those people in the know, who've been getting paid by the Ohio State Athletic Association, those people at ESPN, nobody checked, nobody sent anybody over there, nobody. It's just the ball was dropped ridiculously all over the place. Don't sweep this under the rug, ESPN. Don't do it because your integrity is at stake now. You need to come out and say, we made a mistake. We didn't do our due diligence, and we will never put – young men in danger again, not from the IMG Academy, but those kids from Bishop Sycamore, because I'm sure they had a few 17, 18 year olds who should have never been on that field with that team. Thank God that all those kids got up and walked away from that field that day. Cause it's very possible. And I've seen it happen that people can get injured, especially by guys who play at this speed of athleticism that it takes to play at top flight programs like the IMG Academy. You're right. And that's where we're going to leave it right now. We're going to say shame on you, ESPN. Shame on your vetting process. And shame on anyone who puts children's lives in danger for a chance to get clout in these streets. You're a terrible person. I don't know who you are personally, but I know that you're a terrible person. And hopefully one day, a truck full of loaded footballs rolls over on top of your head. Yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We got to go. You know who hey, it is. You know what it is. Hit that button, man. Tell them, Jay. Hey, hit the button, man. Subscribe. And, <laughs> and uh, let's not go watch the Boston Sycamores play ever again. That's so right. Are Boston Sycamore? Or the Bishop? Boston? Doesn't who matter. Is it? Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. It, it shouldn't matter. It but it should have mattered to ESPN. It should have mattered. mattered to you. And make sure you're leaving your comments below in the comment section. Tell us what you think about Bishop Sycamore and this IMG entanglement. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to use that word. How about that? We'll see. That was, that was pretty That was pretty big. That was a big word we tossed it out there. Mm, that is. <laughs> What's even bigger is fraudulence. That's what you are, you jail Bishop time. Sycamore. All right. So jail time. Somebody you know what jail. it is. You know who it is. It's the sizzle, and we will catch you, my friend, on the other side. Make sure that you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Iron Skillet Sports. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to Iron Skillet Sports on YouTube at Iron Skillet Sports.